understanding what's going on takes a lot of time. And understanding what's going on can be very confusing because there's so much information. And what we do at the, at the intelligence group is take all that information and filter it. We filter it in the context of who the audience is. Because if you truly, truly understand who the audience is, then it's like the secret sauce. It gives you the tools and the ability to influence their behaviors, their preferences, gets them to go see the movies and the TV shows that you want them to see. Understanding that through generational insights is what we do at the intelligence group. It's a powerful tool. In the era of social media, everybody knows what everyone's doing all the time. So they need content. And they need content and communications that gives them social currency, so that makes them stand apart from the crowd. So that's the idea of what they're looking for. So let's see how that manifests. One of the biggest differences for this young generation that is kind of perplexing to business owners is this idea that it's not just about ROI. And now there are probably some of you in this room right now that just said, what are you talking about? ROI is why we live. Well, it is. But to have a more efficient ROI, you have to have something that we call ROR. Return on relationship. That's part of that collaboration. That's part of that idea that young consumers don't want to be sold. They are much more about going against the grain and disrupting the status quo. And here's the difference. Only if it has a purpose. Because think about how they're growing up in their lives, right? They've grown up with an African-American president. They've grown up going through security and hearing about terrorism, huge social upheaval, and huge amount of technological change. So the heroes that they look for, the artists, the movies, they're looking for people that represent that same ideal, that same extreme going against the grain belief. Think of them as disruptors with a cause. The people that they idolize are the street artists, hackers, EDM DJs, and industry disruptors. Right? They love people who are technologically savvy. They like people who are trying things to be innovative. We live in a world that we like to call, show me, don't tell me. And many of the executives that will be speaking tonight will be talking about some of their specific case studies and experiences, but how brands are helping consumers gain more experience. This is a great um, campaign that uh, just happened. Lindsey Vaughn was tweeting out for Red Bull, uh, her rehab, really powerful. Much more effective than her just sending out a message, because it tells a story. And it shares an experience. In fact, consumers tell us, in our research we see this all the time, but consumers tell us that 70% of consumers prefer a cool experience over a cool product. And that's a really interesting statistic, because if you can help them gain an experience, that's something they're much more likely to share. 